Thank you, Sarah. Before long, families will be headed to the lake, the beach, even Disney World for their summer vacation. But how many will actually remember to pack the sunscreen? Overexposure to the sun can be dangerous, especially for your skin. In this month's Prescription Arkansas, THB's Don Scott tells us why sunscreen should also be on the top of your list when preparing for fun in the sun. When I first had one, I had a spot come up on my forehead. Mm -hmm. And I kept thinking, well, what is that? It'll go away. Okay, Mr. Cree, I'm going to be drawing on you here. Glenn Acree treated the spot with over-the-counter medications, but it didn't get better. That is when his doctor suggested a visit to a dermatologist. So he came to see Dr. Hayden Franks at Baptist Health. Dr. Franks biopsied the spot and told him it was basal cell carcinoma. Lord, no. Didn't even know what it was. You don't. You don't even think about anything like that at all. There are three main forms of skin cancer. Basal cell carcinoma, like Glenn has, is the most common type of skin cancer, accounting for 80% of cases. It's a slow-growing tumor, a raised, reddish, pearly nodule. The second most common, squeamish cell carcinoma. This type of cancer accounts for 16% of skin cancer. It most often occurs in areas exposed to the sun and is common in the elderly. It is an area that feels crusty or scaly. Melanoma is the most dangerous and if left untreated can prove fatal. I want fo folks to hear that they need to watch themselves very closely. Uh, we do not tell patients to stay out of the sun. We just tell them to, to practice a safe uh, sun exposure. Okay, we ask our patients to wear sunscreen with an SPF of 30 or above in it and to reapply the sunscreen every couple of hours. Okay, you let me know if you feel anything. In the meantime, Glenn is having a procedure done today to remove the cancerous lesion. What I'm having done here today, uh, from what he's told me, is like a 95% you know, cure rate. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's the best dodge you can get. A whole lot better than not doing anything, I guarantee you. I just say, don't wait if you find a suspicious you know, spot on your skin. Don't do it. I'm Dawn Scott for today's THV. Call me if you need